Face Your Fears by Nia Shah. One day, Lisa woke up from the sound of a big moving truck. She was going to have new neighbors. She was so excited that she that the neighbor's son was going to be in her class. The neighbor's son's name was William, but everyone seemed to be calling him Worried William. He was a sweet boy, but whenever Lisa talked to him, he sounded worried. One day, Lisa asked him, why do you always sound worried? William replied, I am worried there might be a hairy monster that is under my bed. Maybe I can help you, exclaimed Lisa. I have been through this situation myself, said Lisa. We myself, Lisa continued. Here, here's what you can do. Face your fears. Face your what? asked William. It means face whatever you are worried about, Lisa, expl Lisa explained. For example, if you think there is a monster under your bed, then grab a flashlight, get a parent or an older sibling, and look under the bed, said Lisa. Your fear will disappear, said Lisa. The next day, William said, there was not even one monster under my bed. I got such good sleep. Why do you still look worried? Oh, then why do you still look worried? Asked Lisa. I have one problem. Can you help me? Asked William. Sure, said Lisa. William said, I'm afraid of the class bully. Face your fears, said Lisa. Face your what, asked William. I mean, face the bully with calm attitude, said Lisa. But like when you get, bullies like when you get frustrated, said Lisa. You need to be strong, resilient, and tough, Lisa explained. Not physically, but mentally. You should always reply to a bully nicely and calmly, said Lisa. If you run away, get scared, or get frustrated, it won't help, explained Lisa. If you stay calm, the bully will get frustrated, will not be able to think of anything more mean to say, will leave, say, and will leave you alone, Lisa said. From that day onward, William looked here, William looked happy, and his friends started calling him Wonderful William, William, Wonderful William instead of Worried William. Thank you.